Should he get the iPhone 6 in 2024? So the iPhone 6 was released back in 2014, which makes this iPhone almost a decade old now. So as you can imagine, this iPhone is not going to work that well here in 2024. So should he get the iPhone 6? Well, in this video, we're going to go over the specifications and whether this device is worth buying. So first off, I'm going to go over the design of the iPhone 6. So at the front, of course, we still have the home button. This was about three years before the home button was removed. And at the bottom, we still have the headphone jack. And this was removed two years later. And the back is made out of aluminum. And that's pretty much all there is for the design of the iPhone 6. We do also have the iPhone 6 Plus here, which is a lot bigger than the iPhone 6. And that's pretty much all there is for the design. So let's talk about the hardware of the iPhone 6. So the iPhone 6 doesn't have a whole lot of storage. The one that I have right now only has 16 gigabytes, but there's also 32, 64, and 128 gigabytes. Now let's take a look at how fast the iPhone 6 is. So this iPhone only has one gigabyte of RAM, which isn't going to be a lot at all. And if we compare that to the latest iPhone 15 Pro, the 15 Pro is going to have 8 gigabytes of RAM. And when I try searching the web, it does take a little while to load. So for example, if I load YouTube on here, it'll take me about 10 times longer than it would on my current phone. Now, as for the display of the iPhone 6, it only has a 4.7 inch display from one corner to the other. And the only modern phone to have such a small display is the iPhone SE 3. Now the iPhone 6S display is not that bad, but it's not that good either. Uh, you can see here that it's just 326 pixels per inch at a screen resolution of 1334 by 750. Now that's really all there is for the display of the iPhone SE. Let's move on to the camera. So if we open the camera app, you'll see that we still have the option to take square photos, which doesn't exist on any modern phones now. The iPhone 6 also has an 8 megapixel camera and a 1.2 megapixel front camera. So let's try taking a photo on the iPhone SE. Now this is what a photo looks like on the iPhone 6. Keep in mind that I'm using my current room lighting, not the lighting from outside. And just for comparison, here's a photo that I took on my iPhone 14 Pro, and it obviously doesn't compare to the one on the iPhone 6. So here's what video looks like on the iPhone 6. And let's try focusing on this so you can see the details. And the camera really isn't that good. And here's what video looks like on the iPhone 14 Pro just for comparison. And let's try focusing on this again so you can see the details and it does look a lot better. So obviously the iPhone 6 doesn't compare with modern smartphones. Now that's really all there is to cover for the camera of the iPhone 6S. Let's move on to the battery. So the iPhone 6S has a 1810 million power battery, which is really not that good. It's not gonna last you a long time. And especially when you're buying a used iPhone 6, Keep in mind that the iPhone 6 is already almost 10 years old now, so you're not going to be getting a good battery with this device when you're getting it used. So if you want a good battery with your iPhone 6, definitely go for the iPhone 6 Plus because the battery on here does last a lot longer. And from my own personal experience, the iPhone 6 Plus battery does last longer than just a few hours. The last thing we're going to cover for the specifications of the iPhone 6 is the software support. So the iPhone 6 shipped with iOS 8, and as of now, it only goes up to iOS 12.5.8. I don't know why mine doesn't go past iOS 12.5.5. And Apple already stopped releasing security updates for the iPhone 6. So the software support on the iPhone 6 is going to be really bad. Now that's really all there is for the specifications of the iPhone 6. So how much does the iPhone 6 cost and should you get it in 2024? Well, on places like eBay, it's really cheap. It's just 30 to 35 bucks. But this device runs really poorly, so I strongly do not recommend getting it. Instead, what I recommend is the iPhone SE first generation. And that's because this device only costs about 30 to 35 bucks. The battery is really bad on this device, but everything else does work okay. Overall, you will be getting better speeds on the first generation iPhone SE, and you can check the video in the description if you want to see a full review about it. Now, I did actually use the iPhone 6 as my main phone up until a year and a half ago. And the only thing that I would recommend it for is as a music player. So if you just want to use it as a separate music player, then I could recommend it. But besides that, the iPhone 6 is definitely not an iPhone worth buying here in 2024. Now that is all there is for the iPhone 6 here in 2024. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to like the video and check out my channel to see more videos like this in the future.